I wanted to bring this up because I've seen a lot of people uh, saying that the decision to release kills simultaneously in theaters and on Peacock mm. is a result of the negative critics ratings. And that's not really true. Think about it like this. Uh, okay. These studios. Let me back up. It's so it's premiered. It had the world premiere last week. It got crap reviews. Critics are like, this movie sucks. Whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever. Even though people that were there were like, this thing was amazing. Like, it's the most epic thing ever made. Epic horror movie ever made. I mean, there were a lot of really good things to come out of it, too. And I think you have to look at it this way. These studios, when they make a deal to release something simultaneously on a streaming service plus theatrically, I mean, look at what we talked about with um, with Zack Snyder's Justice League being on HBO Max and what it did for Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, seriously, it's... Uh, it boosted the numbers. It like, boosted that was, a lot. Yeah. And there's a lot of decision-making that goes into that process. And there's a mm -hmm. lot of thought that goes into making that decision. Obviously, given the pandemic, given everything that's going on right now, um, it coming into the movie it, theaters and doing makes, well is still it makes sense. I mean, it, I think it'll still do well. Like we've talked mm -hmm. about this. I think it'll do really, really well the first two or three days. And then I think between Dune, between Venom, between all of the other titles that are coming out in October, because I mean, October is a melting prime pot for time. Movies, yeah, man. it's prime time for movies. I mean, they really picked October, which I don't know if things are going to be that much better by October because we're not really trending in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to delay anything again. I don't. I think it's just going to be like whatever happens, happens. And I think the studio, uh, Universal and Blumhouse have adopted that whatever happens, happens mentality. I think Halloween ends is going to happen no matter what. It's already announced. I, I mean, it's it's going to happen. You know, there's no fear of like, crap, the critics didn't like it and it's not going to make 300 mil. So therefore they're not going to make ends. It's not going to be like that. Yeah. Put it reverse. Well, <laughs> they're not going to scream, put it reverse. You know what I mean? It's not going to yeah, happen. Yeah. I gotcha. Um, so this is not true that the, the negative critics scores uh, contributed to it being on Peacock. I guarantee you, I mean, okay, I don't know for sure. I don't know when. I don't really even have an idea of when. But I guarantee you that this, uh, I guarantee you that this deal to simultaneously simultaneously release it in theaters and on, uh, I almost said TikTok, on uh, Peacock, mm -hmm. I guarantee you it's been done for months. They've known they were going to do that because Universal owns Peacock. Oh, it does? Well, I mean, Universal owns Peacock, so it makes sense. Yeah. Every, I, I know a lot of people are like, why don't you put it on Shutter? Why don't you put it on HBO Max? Because Universal doesn't own those, so it wouldn't make any sense. They're not going to like, they're not going to give Halloween to another studio. You know what I mean? That yeah, wouldn't make any financial sense. Especially probably one of the most anticipated Halloween movies, like to to like to this date. You know what I mean? Because right. there really hasn't been much hype for Halloween, any Halloween installments. Um, uh, you know since. I don't know. I guess the original. I don't, not even that. But uh, honestly, I would love to hear I, a drunk podcast from you guys. Check, <laughs> our earliest, you. check our earliest podcast. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there's a, yeah, there's them, a couple on there that are like. Some of them are kind of, kind of, kind of tipsy. But um, actually, don't not, go watch those. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I think, though, that it, if, if you're thinking that this was already planned like a while back, I wouldn't disagree with you because, I mean, if you look about all the movies that were uh, released, like, earlier in the year, like, obviously all of them were, like, uh, also in the theaters, but then also streamed. And, uh, yeah, that those early movies caught a lot of flack. So I'm sure that um, – I'm sure that with this one, with Halloween uh, Kills, I'm sure Universal, um, you know, made some agreement with the <clears throat> studio to, like, offer like a decent amount of revenue from the streaming services so is it gonna but my question is is it gonna be like a premium like stream like you have to pay for it or is it just gonna be on peacock 
I'm not if positive. You, if you... I don't know if I know the answer to that question. The way it's been advertised, I think it's just going to be on Peacock. Do you, you ha- know I you don't can... have Peacock, so I mean, you don't need a subscription for Peacock. You can you can watch you can really? watch series and movies, but it just has mm. commercials. In that case, maybe it will be. It might yeah. be in that top it tier. Will, then I don't know. It Probably. will have to be like a premium thing, kind of the same way uh, Black Widow was. Because I remember when you when we were like prepping to review Black Widow, uh, we watched it the night before, and uh, I had to pay twenty five bucks for it. I was like, no. I texted yeah. Brad. I was like, this podcast yeah. is worth it. <laughs> Man, I, I love Disney, but they're wrong for that. That's too much yeah, they money. Yeah, they were so wrong for that. That's way too much money. Uh, so that's really the biggest thing there is that the, the these deals are made months ahead of before they're announced. I mean, and really, I guess there wasn't even a deal to be made because Universal owns both. I mean, they own both properties. Universal is distributing the film, plus they mm-hmm. own Peacock. I mean, it's a no-brainer. I, it, the, the negative critics' reviews have no effect, I would say. The only effect they, has, they have is if people listen to them and don't go see it either way. But, I mean, I don't think that's true. I think it's pretty obvious, at least in the Halloween community, it's pretty obvious that, like, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like it doesn't no, matter what they say. And I mean, even re- we read through some of the critics reviews last week. And I mean, it's like, why? You know what I mean? Yeah. The fucking um... JT. What's up, man? He says uh, they're there making go. Halloween kills a premium it. premiere. So it is going to be premium. OK, that's yeah, okay. it's fair. And I Andy swear Phantom to God, says the same thing. thanks, guys. You have to be. Yeah, you have. If this shit is like 25 bucks, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm just going to go watch in the theaters. Or, like, you're going to lose the number of people watching it on Peacock. There isn't going to yeah. be a, a high number if the, if the price is high. Because I'm not going to lie. That $25, that would have been for, like, I would have been able to go to the theaters, buy a ticket, buy a large Coke and a large popcorn, and still not break $25 mm-hmm. to watch Black Widow. So I was a little yeah. thrown off by that. So it, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, just, just drop the price down a little bit, okay? I know. I know. They're crazy. Down. Um, the next little bit of news with kills, uh, and I've seen a little bit of, um, conversation in the chat, uh, TV spots galore and new trailer has been rated. Um, mm-hmm. and then Andy Phantom says people were talking about a spoiler still from kills dealing with the flashback. I didn't see it. I think the reviews are quite promising for horror. Um, yes, there has been another trailer rated in the U S uh, which typically when a trailer is rated by the MPAA, it releases within two weeks. Mm-hmm. It, it's pretty soon. I don't know if it's big two weeks exactly, but it's pretty soon after a trailer has been rated that it officially drops to the public. I just dropped my pen. Uh, so we will probably be getting a new Halloween Kills trailer pretty soon. It's two minutes and what? Two, uh, what did I write? Um, two minutes and 16 seconds. And it has already leaked. I actually watched it on Instagram last night. <laughs> and I... It's leaked and it's a good, it's actually, it's a, it's not like the leak from like the, the dickhead who leaked it from the movie theater, the theater manager. Did, did it's, it really? It's like a, it's like a video screencast of it and it's actually pretty good. It's got the whole Lindsay running up um, and the kids are on the swings and she's like, you know, who, uh, she's like, there's some guy trying to play hide and seek with us, blah, 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 blah. And it, it oh, yeah. goes on from there. I yeah. It, it's, it, it was cool. Now I watched it with no audio too. So it's kind of like, whatever but it has it's out there right now um so that'll probably come out and uh yeah now i okay here's the thing about the tv spots now i have been watching the tv for some reason there haven't been quite as many tv spots in the u.s a lot of them are dubbed from like europe or um the one was a german dub that i watched now one of the most one of the biggest spoilery things. Careful. There's was, something that I don't want to know. Uh, I know. And I'm not going to say it yet, at least because of that. One of the biggest potential spoilers of the movie made its way into one of the TV spots. Now, I have seen it. It didn't ruin anything because I already knew this was happening. We have talked about it on the show before. It's been out there for a while. That this mm-hmm. was that this particular thing was happening, um, and I will get to your. I know there's. I'm missing a lot of comments right now. I will. Uh, I, I will get to them in just a minute. Um, but yeah, there was a big moment that was 
put in one of these TV spots. And I have no idea why, because we hadn't seen anything from the flashback uh, in any trailers or, I mean, that we know of. It was the flat. Yeah, I sent it to you. Oh, yeah, I know you did. Oh, but I, I was, was like, just, what? I was waiting. I was yeah. waiting. I just didn't know how far you wanted to go with spoiling yeah. it because now, I mean, we're... I didn't want people over here getting mad because you spoiled something. We're not going to show it. I I don't even have it pulled up to show it. Um, but it's out there. I mean, and it's it goes by quickly. Like you have, I, if you're just some like random person who's watching it, like, oh, this looks like a good flick you're not going to care. You're not going to notice it. But to Halloween mm-hmm. fans, it was like, I was watching it and I was like, go back, go back, go back, go back. I mean, I was freaking out and I was like, holy crap, they put this in the freaking TV. Like they put this in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it does have to do with the flashback. Okay. And uh, it's, it looks baller. It looks it like looks insane. Like one of, like potentially one of the coolest scenes of the franchise cool the the and way i feel like lit, this movie is gonna have a lot of that the angle the way it's lit what you see there are a ton a ton of really cool things in this one image and it's nothing it, it, it doesn't even move it's literally like a still image that passes by in like a millisecond in one of the tv spots like a 30 second tv spot uh but it is it is crazy uh, let's get to some of these comments. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let me go back. I don't even know where I was. Um, whether it's true or not, uh, what's done is done. JLC backed it and I love me some JLC. Me too, man. I love Jamie Lee. Um, I would not want something in the fresh range for a slasher because that would mean it's probably hella safe. That's true, man. That's a really good point too. A lot of, uh, and, and even if you look traditionally looking at horror movies, they're all bad. Like, they really are. Unless it's a newer... Like, I think Get Out had a pretty decent Rotten Tomatoes score. But all of the 80s horror movies, all of the... Hall- I think this already has a better score than oh, any of the other Halloween movies from years past. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I don't care if it's rotten. What does it have like, now? It could, Let me see. It could it could have rotten. But as long as the number is higher than all the previous ones, that shows that shows improvement. That shows, like, it's it's gotten better. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's uh, because let's I did the same has. thing. I did the same thing with like the oh. Fast and Furious because like all the Fast and Furious movies were like you know pretty rotten, and then until it hit like Fast Five, it actually got a fresh. And I was like, oh shit, we're hitting somewhere now. It's fresh right now. It's at a fifty nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It's fresh. Oh well, so damn. Okay. So it's fine. It was at a sixty, so it's gone down a little bit. But who cares? It's fresh. It's what fresh. does it matter? I'm telling you, these critic reviews, man, they don't matter, right? Like they don't. They don't, I I shouldn't say they don't matter because it's somebody's job. It's what they're paid to do. No, 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 no. But Here, I, listen, uh, it, it's, starting not to, it's starting to not matter. You know what I mean? I think it's just, it's getting to the point where like, I don't think these, it's like, going to matter. Reviews are mainly for like the credit critics themselves. Because I mean, who, who, who do we know in our circle of friends actually take the critics reviews to heart? You know what I, I mean? Don't. I don't Nobody. even really re- unless Nobody. it's a movie that I'm like not, super into. I don't even read them. I have not heard of anyone in our in our friends group or any other person that I've talked to about movie reviews where they're like, "Yeah, I mean, I saw the critics review and no, I didn't. They said it was bad, so I'm not going to watch it." I've never yeah. heard that. I've heard even Endgame. I think the I think the Endgame critic reviews weren't very good either. And I mean, Endgame was Endgame. You know what Endgame, I mean? Like, yeah. I so I I really don't think it's gonna matter. I think it's gonna be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, Art says it's a quick shot, less than a second. It is. It is a. I mean, it is gone in a heartbeat. Uh, it it just it. Like I said, I'm all and I've said this before. I'm fine knowing surface level spoilers. Spoilers. I already knew that this was happening. Um, honestly, seeing it and looking at the screenshot of it made me more excited to see it than it did it made me more excited than i was like oh crap i wish i wouldn't have seen that like i didn't think that i was like oh, i gotta text miguel and i texted my dad and i was like look at this look at this look at this look at this i mean it was just it was crazy and i it made me really really excited deep down inside mm. it warmed my heart i'm glad it warmed you and again we're did not it? gonna say what it is right now i debated on talking about it but i don't think we i don't think we need to it's out there you can find it 
and you'll know what I'm talking about. If you want to be spoiled, go ahead and look for it. I mean, Brad's it, already been spoiled, but it's not necessarily a spoiler. It's, it's just... really not because it's been out there for so long. Like mm-hmm. if you like if you're a person in the horror community or in the Halloween community, you probably know what we're talking about right now. Most it's, likely. It involves three things that is really like holy crap, we've wanted to see this the whole time. Three mm-hmm. different things in one shot. So Yeah. Uh, I live in a place where I wouldn't get to see this theatrically, so I'm happy this will be streaming. Yeah, and, and that's good for for people like you, man, who who aren't going to be able to see it theatrically. Um, I heard it was brief, but some thought it was a bad spoil. Yeah, I don't know. I uh... in regards to a flashback, I like I can't imagine a flashback being like spoiled. Like you know what I mean? I can't. I can't imagine myself being spoiled by a flashback. Like okay, yeah, I figured. I figured something like that was going to happen in the flashback, right. but I'm more concerned about what happened to the story now. Like, I would well, much rather not know what's happening in the story now. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I mean, I'm I'm excited for that. Honestly, I don't really want to know a lot about the flashback because I want to experience that in the theater. Mm-hmm. But, and like we've said before, we haven't read the, we have not read the leaked script. We have not, uh, I mean, I have really, I really have tried to stay on the non-spoiler side of things. But, when I found out that this was happening in the flashback, and it really involves a person more than anything, I boy. Was the more we talk about this, the more you get close to wanting to like spoil it. So I know, and I'm I'm not gonna say it, but like I said, it's it's out there. Like it's it's not really, it's not a. Yeah, I don't think it's as mega of a spoiler um, as people are making it out to be. So, but I'm not gonna decide for one of you. What a what's a spoiler and what's not a spoiler. So I'm mm-hmm. not going to do that. Uh, JT says uh, it's no surprise, but about two months ago, Universal stated that all of their movies will release with Peacock. Oh, did they really? I didn't know that they were doing all of them. Damn, how many Holy Universal crap. films are coming out? I mean, I got. I mean, they're a big studio, so a lot. I'd say a lot. Mm. Well, I haven't heard of any hit heavy hitters from Universal yet, or not that yeah. I not that I've kept track of. So oh. yeah. Interesting. I think the marketing has been smart for this. They need to push a little harder than normal. And I would agree with that too. We're getting close. And I think that's what, like today they posted like three or four, like one month videos of, you know, Lori holding the knife and like, mm-hmm. it's, you know, they're, they're starting to really like ramp up the little things. Um, and I could see them with this two minute and 16 second trailer that was, uh, that was rated. I could see that being like an only theatrical thing. Like if you go see a movie in the theater, you see that trailer, but you won't mm. see that. Of course, people will leak it. So I guess then it wouldn't matter anyways. Well, I mean, mm. I don't know. I guess it wouldn't even matter, but who cares? I don't know. Um, Indie Phantom says, I think now I'm ready to just watch the flick. I've stayed mostly non-spoiler, but I still have watched all these spots and read articles still hyped. That's me too, man. I, I, I want to. Uh, I don't want to know kills. I don't want to know who uh, who dies. I don't want to know how it ends. I really have no idea how it ends. I don't. Um, and what no, I've neither, heard neither is of us that do. we we put out this whole thing about uh, when it, when the news came out that small spoil actually spoiler alert. You've been warned. Five, four, three, two, one. That kills and ends don't take place on the same night anymore, and that they've changed the script. Um, I've also read that people that saw Halloween kills were like, Oh, there is no way they could have taken place on the same night now. Like Mm. the way kills ends. It's like, there's no way, like it's too brutal. It's too, it's too hardcore the whole time. Like full frontal nudity and sanity for an hour and 40 minutes. There's two of both taken place on the same night. I don't mean literal nudity. I'm just talking about like the hardcoreness of like how brutal this movie is. Um, So I don't know. I, I don't know how it ends. And I'm, I kind of want to keep it that way. But again, with this particular spoil from this TV spot, uh, it didn't, it didn't bother me. It made me hype more than anything else. It's really hyped me up seeing it. Um, And I really can't wait to see that scene. Uh, Art says, are you guys going to watch Kills at the theater and then come home and watch it on Peacock via live stream? <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, we'll, will we get, I don't know. Will we get like docked for that? Oh, probably. Well, yeah, unless, we, unless we, we would show... get docked for that. If yeah. we didn't show it, I guess not. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We, uh, I never really like understood like, uh, live streaming it, but not seeing the movie. 
not you guys not being able to see the movie. I guess I don't know. Uh, well, if like, they're there's logistics too, of it, though, like a commentary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We want to do some. We I'm not going to say too much, but we want to do a couple of things like that leading into kills. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah, we do. Uh, Universal just signed.